Haley Schultz Cuccinello is this week's Excellence in Education winner. Haley, congratulations. Thank you. We received an amazing letter from your nominators saying that you are such an amazing teacher and, and reach out to the kids. Tell me a little bit about why you teach. So that's a really great question. My initial reason for teaching is because I had extremely awesome educators when I was in high school especially. And I think when we look at a lot of past practice for most educators is that they have a strong um, person in their life who really inspired them to become an educator. Um, the one that most inspired me was actually my predecessor for the position I currently have, which is, his name is Don Wheeler. Um, and he really encouraged me to make the choice to um, teach agriculture education and keep making a difference in students' lives. And so so when I got to college, um, I had actually went for communications. And when I got there, I realized that um, while I love communications, I love working with students more. And so that role model that I had really influenced my choice to become an educator. Haley, what an amazing story. <laughs> That's great. So you are then inspiring these future kids, to, yeah. leaders, I should say. Yeah. They're, um, so I have 162 uh, kids. They're my kids. Um, and so I teach a couple different preps. I teach animal science, plant science, and introduction to agriculture course. And I have two advanced uh, ag science courses as well that I teach. And really what my goal is every day is to be working on career prep skills and so we do a lot of teaching public speaking how to do presentations how to run meetings effectively according to parliamentary procedure um, and so really we're just making the lifelong impact for students yeah. rather than focusing necessarily on curriculum but more so what the end game might be for those students what's it like for you personally <laughs> when you see that kid has got it yeah. their, uh, their eyes start to shine so I want to say that it's gratifying, but really I just feel privileged because I go ever to work every day for those kids. And so being able to see them develop, I have kids for four to five years, not just one year. So being able to see their growth um, is such a privilege for me. And I truly appreciate the ability to be able to work with these kids every day. So. <laughs> you you influence somebody yeah. for the positive and you change their life and yeah. that is probably the greatest gift that anyone could give anyone right well and that's the thing is I don't really think that I influence them they're really like hitting me um, and I was involved in FFA all throughout high school um, very active in my chapter, very active as a regional officer and then served as a state officer. So I've seen what the program can do for students. Mm. And truthfully, that's when I had made the decision in college that I needed to keep giving in this capacity. Um, so continuing to do this and continuing to be a part of a program that provides a lot for students is really impactful for me. And to answer your question, even though like I'm impacting students, I truly believe that they impact us way more than we could ever impact them. I'm going to make an assumption here and think that those those students just aren't students to you. No. Gosh, no. Um, they're some of my favorite people. Um, yeah, they're not just students. They're kids that truly mean the world to me. So. Yeah, I really like them. <laughs> well, thank you so much for what you do. 